Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name's Soleil and I garden in his own 5B in mid-Michigan. It's a beautiful day outside and we're getting ready to plant some hellebores. So recently we did a hellebore haul and I got some really great hellebores. And these hellebores that I'm going to plant right now are called Penny's Pink and they are hardy from zones five to nine. They're absolutely beautiful. And I decided to plant them in this area because I have some hostas here already, but they're those green and white ones that pretty much everyone has. They're kind of ho-hum and they're not really my thing. I just have them as placeholders until I could find something else that was even better. So let's take a look at what we got. So you can see these little buds of the hostas. These are basically getting ready to uh, leaf out, but they probably won't come out for a little bit longer. And I have one on the other side of the whole of the space where I'm going to be planting the hellebore as well. It's right here. You can see these little tips. So these again are the green and white striped hostas. Now, I'm not gonna dig these out right now. I wanna see how this hellebore does. I wanna see how it, behaves in this area before I dig those out and um, get rid of them or give them away. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of clear some of this mulch away from the spot where I'm going to be doing the planting. There's likely to be quite a few hosta roots in here because they do have some very good and sturdy roots. There's also a hosta that is back here too as well. Um, so it's really going to be surrounded by hostas until I decide that this is the ultimate plant planting place for it. Now the reason I decided on this particular spot is because this is definitely in a shade area. It does get a little bit of morning sun. Um, and I think it's just gonna look really pretty here. There's some lungwort that are just to the side of it and some boxwood. And I just don't have a lot of winter interest in this section of the garden. Right now I'm just kind of chopping up the soil pretty pretty clayy and now I'm gonna pull that soil back out now these hellebores are called again pennies pink and they're hardy from zone five to nine and they're part of a series called frost kiss these are some of the ones that we got when we went to the River Street flower market the other day in Kalamazoo such a great trip. Oh, this is a violet. We don't need that. We'll get rid of that. And I'm just going to make sure to plant this with its crown just above the soil level here because I don't want to bury it. Lots of little violets in this garden bed. They do spread a lot, don't they? I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful and bring some really good winter interest to this area. And I think it's going to look beautiful with one on either side of the boxwood, especially as this boxwood, boxwood grows larger over the years. But we'll see what this looks like and how it does as the season progresses. Let's get the other one planted. Okay, same thing in this particular area. There's hostas that are right up front here. But I'm going to put this one right here. And again, this is a shade area. It does look a bit sunny right now on camera, I think. But that's because there's no leaves on this hawthorn tree right now. So these should pr provide some really nice year-round interest. And then in between them is a um, bleeding heart, you guys. So I think that's gonna be really pretty as well once that comes out every spring. Just gonna pull some mulch around this. And right here, just to the right of that plant, is the foliage from the bleeding heart that will be coming up very soon. Lots of it in here, so that will be gorgeous. 
So I already planted one hellebore in this area. I planted the charmer, and this one happens to be one that I cannot believe I missed, but I forgot to show you guys on the hellebore haul. And so it's already in the ground, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So we'll give you a close-up look on that just so you know because it is called Frost Kiss Charmer, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna get another companion plant planted in here. The reason I like this position is again because it's shade and also because I can see this from my back sliding glass door in the winter time. So I can look out and check around to see if I see any color. Isn't the flower on this one just gorgeous? Now these are ahead of schedule right now because obviously they were grown on in the greenhouse. So normally you would just see these beginning to, oh, probably be about half this size in my garden. So. It will be interesting to see the timing of them next year as they perform, but uh, they do typically come up earlier than they have this year just because we've had such a long, wet, cold winter. All right, next up we have the uh, Dana's Dolcet, and this one is kind of that chocolatey pink color with the chocolatey color stems, and I think this one's gonna look absolutely gorgeous in this bed. I'm going to plant it right amongst this uh, hardy geranium here. This is the geranium macrorhizum and I think that's going to look lovely. So let's get that dug in. This soil in this garden bed is much better than in the garden bed where I planted the pennies pinks. It is very light, very full of leaf mold. So I know for sure that these are going to be happy over here. Now this one has been growing on for some time and looks a bit root bound. So I'm just going to pull some of those roots out because boy, are they circling the pot. And that's the thing. Once you get these established, these roots will really dig into the soil and they'll work in ways to ensure that this plant can be incredibly drought tolerant. They'll look good through thick and thin for me. All right, I think that's pretty good. We got them stretched out a bit. I wish I had soil like this throughout the whole rest of my garden. Sure would make life a lot easier. And I'm just gonna pull some of these leaves around it for some mulch. And there we go, all nestled in. Looks like it belongs there, doesn't it? So from back here, I think you can still see some of that color that it brings to this garden. I know the lighting isn't the best. It's definitely that spring sunshine, but I think it's glorious. And I absolutely love what they bring to this garden. A nice little delicate touch with a beautiful flower color. All right, well, I think these penny pinks look absolutely lovely on either side of this boxwood, and it's gonna be just glorious. Now I'm gonna sneak up on this hellebore and see if we can peek in. There is, yep, there goes the bee. There's a bee on it already, so the pollinators are starting to come out, and that's gonna be so wonderful. We still have some buds on these flowers um, because I definitely picked out ones that had buds on them still so we could continue to get more bloom time on them. Now I do want to point out in case people are wondering what happened to my arborvita back there, that is a rabbit snack. So basically they have eaten up the bottom foot, foot and a half of that arborvita. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And actually when the hostas come up in this garden bed, they actually cover up the bottom of it. So you can't really tell, but uh, I definitely think at some point it will probably come out and I may replace it with something else. So yeah. That's something in the future to deal with. All right, well, thanks everybody for joining me today. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed getting out in the garden with me and enjoying this spring weather. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.